You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's finally here. Our Lollaloopsy, so magical, so cute, baking oven. It's a new oven, and you can find this in stores. We actually got ours at Target. Um, we ordered it online through Target. And uh, basically, it gives you everything you need in the oven, but I don't actually see the pictures here. So let me flip the box around and show you another side. All right, so this panel kind of shows you everything you get. Um, of course, the heart-shaped spatula, they're calling it the button cookie mold, the baking pan, measuring spoons, and then the mixes that come with it. And then also letting you know there's other mixes you can get with it. So that's uh, pretty much it. You mix, you bake, and you enjoy so yummy treats, which is what I want to get to. So let me get it out of the box and we'll get started learning about this oven. All right, here we go. The oven is out of the box, but before I get to that, I'll go over all the pieces here. Now the mixes, you get a cake and a cookie mix, a frosting and a sprinkle. So I don't need those right now. We'll move those out of the way. And then there's one pan that comes with it. It's got a line level on there for your cakes. We'll move that out of the way. You have your cookie mold, which has three different shapes in it. By the way, everything is washed and ready. And then you have the pan spatula, which grabs the pan. They don't call it a pan pusher. And then that has a stop here spot. See that stop here? So that's where you would stop to put it in when you first put it in the oven because here's the baking section and then like a lot of the other ovens there's a cooling side where you let it cool and you grab it with this side of course the instruction booklet and then the measuring spoons which are pretty unique because they're not uh, normally labeled see this says big pinches that's the one tablespoon and then this is pinches so if the if the mix asks for a pinch then you put a pinch in if that's for a pinch and a dash then you put a dash or the last one's a sprinkle, so you need a little sprinkles, that's what you do. And then this actually sits here. This, this one comes out, and they hang right there on the oven. Okay, so no other dials turn except for the on-off switch. When I turn this on here, you'll see it light up down there so you know your oven is on. Now this is not a light bulb oven, but a heating element oven. And then no other dials, like I said, turn. There's nothing up here that moves or opens. You got a little clock up here. The back of the oven, pretty solid and flat, and then, you know, pretty much uh, put your stuff in and then bake it and then pull it out of that side. These doors don't open, but that's it. That's the whole oven. So what do you think we're going to do? Well, I got a surprise for you. I'm not going to use the mixes that came with the set because I wanted to do these bonus mixes, which we ordered special for this video and this oven. Now, which one am I going to do? I'm not sure. I can't do them both, so I think I'm going to do this cake. It looks like a nice project, a confetti cake, and then I'll save this one for another day. This is the cookies that come with the, uh, the oven originally. You get one sugar cookie, but this one also has chocolate chip, so I want to just kind of show you available mixes. So if you do get this oven, I would suggest grabbing some mixes while you can. They're getting harder to get. Uh, so when we come back then, I'll get started. All right, I'm all set to go to make this confetti cake. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. Not the best opening for me. Okay, finally. There's the booklet. There's the mix. So let's see what you get in mixes now. You get a confetti cake mix. You get a yellow icing. You get the pink frosting. So there's two frostings. And then your sprinkles. Alright, let's look at this cake mix and check out the recipe booklet. Alright, so everything we need to know. So spray your pan. Okay, let's get started. Spray your pan. Now that makes a mess because I am using a pan spray, so I'll do it off to the side here just so you know that it's happening. There you go. And let me grab a towel here. So what does it say to do? Well, remember what I told you about pinches and dashes? Well, it says, uh, mix the batter, pour half of the confetti cake mix, two big pinches in one pinch, and two pinches in one dash of water in a mixing bowl. So half of the mix is two big pinches in one pinch. So don't get confused there. That's almost like they're saying, put the half the mix in in all that water, which you're not supposed to do. Let me grab some scissors. Where did I put my scissors? 
Okay, got my scissors. Oh, look. There's confetti pieces in there, so let me take my measuring spoons. What does it say now? Two big pinches. One. Two. And then one smaller pinch. And that makes up half of the batter. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side. Then, two pinches and one dash of water. So back to the two pinches. One, two, now go to the smaller dash. There, and that's all you need. And then let's see, I have to flip my page, but I'll get a little closer there for mixing. It says, stir mixture until smooth, do not overmix. Okay, so we just want a nice smooth mixture. Look at the confetti in there. Fill the pan evenly with cake batter until it reaches the fill line on the pan. Okay. A little bit more. I don't want to overmix it, it says, just until it's smooth. Well, one of the reasons we didn't use the original mixes is because anybody who's done the oven now on video has already done those mixes. So we're doing our own thing here, and that's why we got them. Okay, that looks good to me. So pour it in here. Now the oven's been on. It says warm it up for 20 minutes, so we're close to that. Let's see if we hit that fill line. Let me scrape out a little bit more. It's close. It's really close. I bet you if I scrape it all down, it'll be a nice right on. Okay, so I guess it's a two-layer cake. I haven't done a two-layer cake, I think, in any of the series. So there you go. A couple little drips here and there. So when we come back, I'll be putting that in the oven. All right, so here we go. I am putting the first layer of the cake in. Now this bakes for 12 minutes, and here we go, so up to the line, you should hear the door close. It suggests you peek in there just to make sure, but I think we're good to go. So I'm going to set my timer, we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Alright, that first cake is ready to come out of the oven, so let me push that through for you. You won't be able to see the actual cake, but at least you saw it push through. Now let's just take a quick look at it and we'll put it back in the cooling chamber there. Alright, so I just want to take a quick look to make sure it baked okay. There you go, Mr. Pan. Ooh, look at that. Came out nice. Very good. So we'll leave that. Uh, we'll let that cool down, and then uh, we'll start the next uh, layer of cake. All right, the cake has cooled down, so I was just gonna. I got it loosened for the most part here. It was just a little bit stuck in that one spot. So there you go. You can kind of see it there. Got stuck there. But otherwise. Hmm, I'm ready to eat. Okay, so first mix is done. Let's get in here now and repeat here. So there's the rest of the cake mix, which should be the half, and then two pinches and a dash. So I have these hanging up here. It's a nice little storage spot. I just keep forgetting to put them there. So two pinches. One, two, and a dash. Okay, so there's my dash. I like their measuring system. Gets you to think, oh, hang it up, right? I really need to wash that pan, so before I finish up here, I'll just get this mix, get it ready, and then go wash the pan. Come back, and we should be good to go. Look at that. Okay. That's ready to pour out. Remember it said don't over mix it. So I'll be right back. All right, so the pan is washed and ready. I will spray it here. Hope you can hear that I am spraying it. Put a little bit more this time, hopefully to help in the sticking. Normally now I use butter when I do this because I don't like the sprays because yeah, it gets all over everything. And I don't have enough room to really contain the spray or do it over a sink. So that's why I like real butter. 
I can control it a little bit more. So if you don't have cooking spray, just use butter. It's okay. All right. So there is number two. Maybe I can scrape a little bit more out. All right, so I could put that one in right now because the oven is set, it's hot. And remember, just go to the line. Okay, so what I think I'll do is when I come back, I'll have this one out of the oven, cool down, and we'll get started decorating, doing the frosting and the sprinkles. All right, uh, lots going on here. Now, I've changed my mind. I did, I changed my mind. I've got my cakes cooling in the background. The second one I took out, you saw that one, but not taking it out. Then I thought, hmm, maybe it's not fair that I don't do the cookies with you. So, I'm gonna start them now. You know, the oven's empty. I might as well do something with them. Ooh, that one opened a lot better. And the cookies don't require much. It's just, uh, you got chocolate chip. You've got the sugar cookie. Another chocolate chip, and then an orange sugar. So that's probably for sprinkles on top. I don't see any frost, let me see. Sugar cookie, chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chip cookie. So no frosting on this one, even though they show it on the top. This is orange sugar. Let me see, maybe it's still in there. Nope, nope. See, frosting. Let's see, what does it say? Makes one dozen cookies, sugar cookie mix, hot pink frosting mix. Ooh, I wonder if I got two chocolate chips when I should have gotten a frosting. Well, I'll have to use the frosting from that set. That's strange, huh? Well, let's try a sugar cookie. Let's see what it says here. You know, while we're here and I've got the oven, I might as well do it with you. Plus, I want to try it. All right, so round sugar cookies. Hmm. But we don't have to make them round because we've got this nice cookie press. So we're going to use that. Plug in the oven. Okay, mix the dough, pour one sugar cookie mix, one dash, and one sprinkle of water. The dough will look dry. Do not add more water. Okay. I guess I'm talking my way through this to take on another recipe in the same video. All right. And then... One dash in one sprinkle. Okay, a dash. That's the two smaller ones. So I can just do a dash and a sprinkle. And then, no, I'm good to go. So this time I'll remember to hang this up in this little spot. Let's get a little more room here. Now I referenced the original recipes, the mixes, and it did say to lump it and mold it in your hands and then spray the cookie press. Isn't that weird that I got two chocolate chips and not the frosting? I guess that could happen. So maybe it was meant to be that I do it all in this video because I'll have the frosting from the cake. So what I'll do is at the end, I'll just decorate everything at one time. I wonder if I should make those chocolate chip cookies. You're probably all saying, I hope he makes the chocolate chip cookies. Well, I probably will. Now, this far in, might as well just do it. Okay, so this makes a lumpy ball, and I've got to mold it in my hand. It says, roll the dough between your hands to create one large ball, and then break it up into six. All right, so let's get this all here. It's going to be easier for me. You know, I might as well, because I got the oven, I might as well bake with it. There, that's starting to feel better. See? Looks like we can mold that in our hands. A lot of people ask, do you wash your hands? That's disgusting. Well, I don't know. I, the most cook, most, when I watch cooking shows, they're always using their hands. Your hands are so important in cooking and baking. You want to feel the dough and check it. Okay, so let me spray this here. The hardest thing is I don't have a sink to wash them often while I'm in the middle of something. I'm going to do this off to the side here. Okay. 
So those you mold into here, and then they say pop out with a little toothpick. So I got a couple tools here. I'll use probably this to pop them out. Okay, good. Let me just wipe that off. Okay. Get set. And let's just make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty close. I'll do this one. Looks like the largest one. And then I'll be able to take a little bit off of that. Now, it says only bake three at a time in the pan, so make sure you follow that. Don't do them all. Let's see. There you go. There, there's one. And it looks like you have six molds, but the shapes are the same. These three are the same as these three. So now I'll just make another one of these. I mean, I'll make one of these. Eventually, I'll make another one of those. There's two. And a heart. Let's make a heart. I guess I can just fill them all in and then press them all and then pop them all. There, so now I made two of each cookie. Who's going to want this oven this holiday season? It seems to be a really popular oven. We had a hard time finding the mixes at a decent price. Okay, there we are. One. Two. And the last one. Okay, there we go. So there's all of my cookies. See, that was easy. So, let me spray my pan. My oven is still hot. Put three cookies in, and when I come back, we'll put them in the oven. I'll take a round one like that, a heart one, and then this one here, it's got like a button. Okay, so when I come back, we'll put those in the oven. All right, so batch number one of cookies is going in the oven. And these bake for, what did it say? Ooh, I forgot. Bake for nine minutes, so let me get them in there. And then we'll set it for nine minutes, and we'll see what they look like. All right, batch number one is ready to come out of the oven. This is the sugar cookie, so let's just see. I'll take a quick look at them here. Hold on, I will adjust. Okay, as you see, they did not hold their shape very well. So let me just put them back in the cooling chamber. And when they're cooled down, I'll make the next three. All right, well, I have another change of plans. I thought I should do the chocolate chip while I have the pan out and those cookies have cooled. It's kind of a lot of baking going on here today. It's not often that I can do three in one video. That's a lot of baking. So let's see, mix the dough for the chocolate chip. Pour one chocolate chip cookie mix one dash and one sprinkle in the bowl. So here we go. Ooh, it's got the chocolate chips in it. It's kind of reminded me of the Mrs. Fields oven. That one had the best tasting cookies so far. And then one dash and one sprinkle. Now those are the two smallest measurements. One. And it's going to be doughy like the last one. It says the dough will look dry. Do not add more water. Oh, by the way, here's those other cookies. I have to still bake three more. And then you can kind of see where we're at with the ones that came out originally. So I might cut down the time on the oven. It might be getting hot now. It's been on for a while. So this is the same thing. You roll this up. It's going to be kind of dry. And then you... Make one ball and you divide that up into six. And then I'll bake three chocolate chip and then I can get to the decorating and, you know, bake as I go along with that. I don't need all 12 cookies to decorate and to taste. Wow, 
Wow, when I started, I didn't think I'd be doing this much, but you know, we're here now, like I said, might as well learn about it, especially if you're thinking about getting this oven, you can, you know, get my first-hand experience with it. Okay, I'm just kind of getting it so it's like one lump. Here we go. Pretty good. Let's get that out of the way. And they actually show it in someone's hand, okay? go so roll the dough in between your hands that also helps mix it a little I think also place three dough balls on the pan and press them down to slightly flatten okay let me spray my pan again So six out of this one. That's going to be kind of big. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Let me make an adjustment. Take a little bit out of that one. A little bit out of that one. I think I have six pretty even size cookies. Okay, and then flatten. Hmm. Use one of my tools for that. Shouldn't stick to my fingers as much. I mean, it shouldn't stick to this tool as much as it does my fingers. Okay, let's see if we can get a good shot. Well, yeah, we can put that right in now. All right. So the first batch of chocolate chip going in. And what does this say now? Baking, baking, baking. Uh, let the pan... Oh, I missed a section here. Uh, nine minutes, but I'm going to do six minutes because nine seems to be too long. And uh, when I check back, we'll have the first batch out. All right, I am set for batch one of the chocolate chip cookies. And I have it set up this way so I can show you right away when they come out what they look like. And what I'm going to do when I come back is just start getting all the frostings and decorating ready. Because I can keep baking now that my, see, my first batch of chocolate chip, they look brown on the bottom, soft on the top. Just the way I wanted them. I'll be right back. All right, so there's a lot going on here because I have two different sets of recipes going or mixes going. The orange sugar, that was for the cookies. So I'm going to just cut that and get that in its container. So I got it. Nice orange, bright orange. Now remember, my frosting was missing from that cookie set. But fortunately, now that I'm doing this set, I can do them both now. So this is the round confetti for the cake. Okay. So I can move that off to the side. You see I've got all my cookies over here. I've got another batch of sugar cookies in the oven. And then this is the only thing that uh, there's some confusion here because it says yellow icing, but there is no water ratio for the yellow icing. The only time they show the yellow icing is here already in the bag. It says decorate cake with special message, spoon icing into a plastic bag and cut off a tiny tip. Now what's confusing me is that this bag and the one that you're actually making, the main one, are two different size bags and two different some different amounts. So that one I might have to either wait on or make an adjustment as I go. So if the timer goes off, I have four minutes. That's just I'll just push a cookie through and we'll get to that in a little bit. So now the frosting, it is. In a separate mixing bowl, combine frosting mix, one pinch and one dash of water until smooth. This will do my cakes here, which I have off to the side, and I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Remember, I got my trusty measuring tools up there. Okay, so one pinch and one dash. So those are these two. You just got to read it. It says pinches and dashes. So one of each. Oh, I 
keep forgetting to hang it up so I know where it's at. Keep it handy. And just adjust this a little bit until smooth. So it shouldn't take long. So it's a layer cake, so I got to put some in the middle and then save the rest for the top. And hopefully, I have a little bit extra for the cookies. If not, what I might do is just make the yellow. And instead of using it for decorating, use it for the cookies. But I'll have to adjust the water. Okay, so that looks like it might need to set just a little. But I think I can glue my two cakes together. I'm going to use this one, the purple, as my base cake. And then this will be my top cake. Now I've seen some people flip them over and, you know, on the professional cakes they cut off a layer. But I'm not a professional cake person. Alright, so it just says, yeah, make a layer of frosting. Okay. And then we'll put this one on top. Nice little package there. And we'll just spoon this all on and then I'll save this or uh, the yellow for my cookies. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Don't move too fast. Don't move too fast. You can fall down the sides now. Alright. I do have more, so I'll scrape it out. edge. I might have to nurture the top just slightly. If not, it's okay. Hmm. Okay. I think it's close enough for me right now. I'm going to let it set and then I'll put some, just set just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to let that set just a little bit, come back here, clean up, and then get that yellow ready. All right, before I was ready, that next batch of cookies went off in the timer there, so I didn't have time to do much adjusting with the oven. Let's grab them. This is the second batch of sugar cookies. So I'm going to let those cool. And I could have left them in the cooling chamber, but I wanted you to see them. So there you go. Come back, I'll probably have the chocolate chips in and now get to the yellow frosting. All right, here we go. So as a recap now, my cookies did not come with the frosting. My cake had a yellow frosting, but there's nothing in the instructions on how much water. So I'm not going to use the same amount as the pink because it... Uh, is a smaller bag so let me just see what we have here maybe if I just do like a pinch first and then a dash and see how it is make it a little thicker the one on my cake I think it's a little bit thick this is supposed to be a yellow frosting yellow icing hmm. let's see how yellow it turns so we'll do one pinch did I say pinch yet one pinch is the medium one and then we'll avoid the dash for now just to see how the frosting turns out. But I want this one a little bit thicker so that I can, ooh I like that. Now this is supposed to be used to decorate the top of your cake if you want to write something on it. So I'm gonna break from what I'm supposed to be doing here because one, I'm missing the icing from my cookies and two, well, maybe I might be able to. We'll see. Let's see what's left over after I do a couple of the cookies. Because in the cookie mix, in the cookie mix now, they say you can put frosting on the top. So I'm just going to 
maybe use this smaller thinner one here and then dip it in your sugar so let me get rid of the water let's make some room here and dip there we go we do two of those and I still have cookies in the oven okay there's another one of those and then they suggest you could also make, what was it, cookie sandwiches. Now the cookie recipe shows a pink dough when there isn't a, I mean a pink frosting when there isn't pink in the set. Unless that was the one I was supposed to get. Maybe it was. So it looks like just a plop on there with a little bit of sugar. But let me do this. Let me get my cake in here because it looks like it's starting to set a little. I just want to plop some sprinkles on the outside. Then maybe I'll see if I can put in one letter in the middle. I noticed too my cake, they didn't actually frost the edges on their picture. So I think I tried to get my edges and I couldn't. But that's okay. I think I like it all around the edge. Some stuck, some not stuck. I could tip it up and tilt it and do it, but I think I like that. I wonder if I can pipe in one letter. Here, I got a little bag here. Let's see, before I use it all, I'll just scoop up a tiny bit here. That should be enough for a letter and to do a little more decorating. Cut the tip of the bag. What letter would I put? What letter would you put? Probably D for David. How's that? Okay, so I'm just kind of pushing my... Ooh, watch, there's a lot going on. But when you have a lot going on, it's really hard to keep everything in perspective here. All right, here we go. Push it all to the end. Nope. That means cookies get pushed through. Wow, this is a really active video today. Okay, so those chocolate chips are cooling. I'm about to do this. Okay, that looks like it's enough to do the letter D. Here we go. The suspense is building. We'll put two little tips on the corners. There. And a little bit on the outside here to fill in that open space. Ooh, hit my D. Oh well. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, I'll use this. I'll save my D. Okay, there. Cake is done. I'll set that in the back. That will definitely need to clean up. Now let's see about this cookie sandwich they were talking about. Now do they have it? Hmm. It says for cookie sandwich, is it a separate mixing bowl? Okay. Using a spatula, spread frosting on the bottoms of two cookies and press the sides together. Okay, the bottoms of two cookies. And then press them together. Okay, so that's my cookie sandwich. I'm not sure if I want to put that frosting on a chocolate chip, but I will frost a cookie here. Just have a yellow frosted cookie. And then one more. All right. Wow, I got through it. Let me put some sprinkles on my two cookies. I just piled them on. All right. I'm going to clean up, 
get an organized on my plates here and we're gonna taste them. All right, here we go. I have them resting on top of the oven. I cooled the oven completely down before I put these on there because it does get warm on the top and I didn't want to put the desserts on a hot oven. And I have to say overall, it was a little hectic to get through three mixes in one video, but I'd say they came out pretty good. I'm happy with them. I can't wait to taste them. I'm not sure what I would even want to try first. Well, maybe the chocolate chip cookies. So this is what they look like up close. Well, let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of study my desserts. And uh, I think the pink frosting might have need to set a little bit or a little less water. Uh, but the yellow seemed to hold up pretty good. I mean, it's holding its shape. It's not all leaking off, which is good. All right, so let me try a chocolate chip cookie. They're nice and brown on the bottom. They're nice and chewy. You get a little crisp from the bottom. It's tasty. Now let me try one of these sugar cookies in orange. Now that was one of the first ones, so it's a little crispier on the bottom. But it's still good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have to cut into my cake. So here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Let's slide a piece out. So you can see inside here. Let me get my fork. That was tasty. So that's what it looks like on the inside here. Let me give you a, a better view of that. All right, so can you see inside better? I'll eat this while you study that. It's good. It's very moist. I like these mixes, so if you're thinking about get this up, getting this oven for this holiday season, I think you'll do okay. I would get extra mixes like I did so you have them handy. So there you go. That is it. I did it. Three mixes in one video. And like, like I said, you're with me when I'm making these because I'm thinking about all the comments and what you're going to say as I'm doing them and making sure I get the right angles and give you the best views. So overall, very happy with this oven. And if you want to see more kids and toy ovens, we have a bunch. Look at the channel. We'll have a link in the description for a playlist. Or as always, just search our channel for kids oven or toy oven and you'll find a lot. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.